हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर डूइंग रिएक्ट नेटिव इन एप परचेज फॉर दी ऑटो रिन्यूबल सब्सक्रिप्शन प्लान वी हैव टू प्लान प्रीमियम प्लान एंड बेसिक प्लान नाउ क्लिक ऑन दी बाय बटन यू नीड टू एंटर एप्पल आई डी एंड पासवर्ड सो आई हैव माय एप्पल आई डी एंड पासवर्ड कॉपी पेस्ट देन पासवर्ड कॉपी paste this is a sandbox testing account which i am using then you have to wait so it is not working so let's go to the debugger so it is showing an error unknown error because we can't test the in app purchase into the simulator so we need the real device for that i have a, a browser stack this website provide real time devices you just need to create your account and uh, upload your ipa file here now click on the buy button again we need to enter the apple id and the password okay now click on the buy button so it is showing you a alert message yes so i zoom it for you now you can see the subscription term subscription is premium plan plan uh, auto renewal subscription 48 rupees per month start from 27 feb okay now click on the continue now it is showing another alert box it is saying you are using sandbox testing account click on okay button so so today we are doing react native auto renewable subscription plan by using the in app purchase library so we need to follow these steps so this is the url you need to open into the browser i already open it to my first tab okay now you have to go to your apple store connect then click on the agreement and banking you need to accept the auto renewal subscription agreement after that uh, it will give you the billing agreement also you need to accept the both the agreement and uh, provide the proper information about your company about your bank then this ex uh, these agreement will be active then go to your app store and select your app and then go to your in app purchase click on the manage and now click on this plus icon after that these four option you can see consume non consumable non renewable and auto renewable okay if you did not accept the agreement auto renewable subscription it is not showing so you need to accept the agreement first okay so let's uh, it is showing like this click on the create button after that you need to enter the product id and the product name product id you can enter anything according to your understanding now click on the next button okay after that you need to create your subscription group if you already created you can choose the existing one otherwise you need to create like a pro or basic plans after that you need to you are seeing this app secret it is for the backend team backend team need for the notify when you notify when you unsubscribe or subscribe any any subscription so it is notified to the backend team okay then you need to enter your product name and the duration you need to select and you need to click on this price button and set the product subscription plan price in the dollars or rupees you can select after that you can see the different prices according to different country now click on the okay button and then click on the save button 
then you need to set your duration monthly yearly quarterly uh, what you want then you need to click on the plus localization okay then select your language and select your app name it is showing when you when uh, the subscription plan is open okay then you again need to select the localization and define your description about the subscription plan after that you just need to upload the screenshot of the subscription plan screen one screenshot or two screenshot you need to upload then it is all we done everything if you want to learn more about the offers you need to follow these step also we don't need these so it is okay with us okay so these steps for the offers related you don't need to do this okay then after this you have to click ok and save it this page so we done agreements we done the billing and auto renewable subscription plan so we need to create a sandbox tester for testing the in-app purchase so for this we have this url you need to follow these steps which is showing here just open this url into your browser so these are the steps so first you need to go to your app store and go to users then click on the sandbox tester and create on the plus button then you need to fill this form first name last name email id and the password confirm password secret question and secret answer after that you create when you click on the save button it give send the confirmation mail to your mail id so you need to fill the correct email id so after you confirming the tester account create is successfully okay so it is very easy to do this creating a tester account so let's start the coding part coding part of you need to install this library react native in iap so go to npm website and run search this library you just need to run this command yarn and react native iap if you want to install the late next version you can also add the late next without it it is also working after that you can also run cd ios pod install command okay no other step you need to follow only do two commands you just need to run let's start the coding part so for the coding part uh, we have a five function in it connection and get subscription request subscription and purchase update listener and purchase error listener these functions for we need to follow for the in-app purchase so let's start the coding part <coughs> so this is my code you need to import iap from this package okay we need to create the plans array empty array the in the use effect function you just need to create a connection between in-app purchase if you got the error then it is will console it otherwise the get subscription plan function will call in this function you just need to add your product id into the ios key if you also need to implement for the android so you need to pass the key for the android also in this platform after that you, this function call get subscription it is taking the plan id and it gives the plans so we need to set the plans into the set plans and that will to give you the error uh, sometimes give you the empty array when you did not accept the billing agreement so just uh, you need to accept the billing agreement also otherwise it give you an empty array so it is okay so let's go to the another part when user select the particular product and try to buy one item 
okay let's go this is the function so when we have the plans we passing the data into the flat list and in the item we got these response from the in-app purchase item description unit and the localized price then when the user click on buy button this function call buy selected plan so we are passing the plan details and fetching the product id and request subscription function function will call when this function is called it's not giving any response into the result for that we need to use the listener functions okay so go to the listener function this is the listener function we have purchase update listener after your transaction is complete so it gives the purchase in the purchase we have transaction receipt so we need to verify the transaction is finished or not for that we need to pass the purchase into the finish transaction function after that it will give the acknowledgement we need to acknowledge the backend team we purchase this product or not okay so uh, if face any error we need to use this listener purchase error listener this function is also called when we are trying to run the app in the simulator okay and after that we need to remove the listeners update listener and error listener hope you guys you like this video so i revise you again so first you need to call init function then get subscription then request subscription then purchase update listener then get error listener so if you don't uh, accept the agreement this function is not working get subscription also you can use the get products for the products okay hope you like this video please like subscribe my channel and share